Hello. Hi. Hello, Elizabeth. Can everyone hear us? I hear you. Hello, hello. Sorry, I was muted. No problem, no problem. <laughs> Great to hear your voice. Amen. Well, we're going to give it one more minute. Mm -hmm. Join, and then we're going to start. All right, well, welcome to uh, World Missions Alliance Mission Speed. If you're joining for the first time, uh, mm -hmm. this is our time to pray for the nations together, whether uh, this is a nation that God stirred your heart towards, or you just love to pray for the nations, you're in the right place. Mm -hmm. um, so today, uh, we're going to focus on the country of Mexico. Uh, which uh, we started working there fairly recently in uh, 2021 was our first mission trip there. It's strange mm -hmm. because this is a country right across the border, so close, <laughs> but it's one of the latest outreaches. But um, our um, our philosophy is um, to go to the nations in God's special timing. And so um, this is when God called us there. So this is what we will be praying about today. If you see us for the first time, I'm Helen Todd. This is Chuck Todd. We're president and vice president of World Missions Alliance. And so now I'm going to turn it over to Chuck. We're so glad you're taking your time to be with us today. And honestly, this is an incredible time for us, especially uh, uh, the country of Mexico that uh, we'll be praying for today. But before we get any further, I'd just like for us to real quickly just join uh, just to go to prayer um, for God's covering over this particular uh, time together. Lord, we come and we praise your holy name. Lord, I thank you so much for this time together, Lord. And I pray a special blessing upon each and every person that's taking the time right now to join and agree together in this country, this country of Mexico, Lord, which I know your hand is on and you're drawing hearts and minds to this area, Lord. And I pray blessings upon each and every person attached to attached to this ministry and attached and agreeing with this call into Mexico. Lord, we give you praise, glory, and honor in your mighty name. Amen. 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 Well, we're very excited to be able to go into Mexico during these times, and God has truly opened a door. As my wife had said, uh, it's been so long. Mexico, for many people, I should say, would be the first choice, but God has called us in a different direction initially. Uh, into the post-Soviet Union. We're going into that area. Uh, and then God's expanded around and has circled around to now we have this great open door into Mexico. And I think the timing is perfect. The people that we're working with are truly God-ordained. And I think God has just put us together with tremendous, tremendous people, uh, people that truly has the heart and desire to please God and to share his love and grace, not just a doctrine or not just a teaching, not just a uh, uh, church background, but truly sharing the true love of, of God with the people around. And Mexico is an area that what shocked me was how unevangelized Mexico actually is. There's a lot of uh, doctrinal areas there with the, with the Catholic Church that's there, but it's not even with that, it's very little faith issue and more of a cultural issue of Christianity which by itself is not terrible because we're not bringing in a complete different idea. Uh, the What we're doing there is showing what, if you believe in Jesus, this is what you truly are saying you believe in and bringing them into the next level of a true relationship with Christ. So this is what we're going to, going to be doing. This is what we have been doing. Uh, and we're very excited to continue to expand. And this trip, we're going, our next trip, we're going in, expanding the area. First, we were in Mexico City. Uh, and that surrounding area. Now we're going just a little bit north of that into uh, Pachuca will be our next trip into Mexico where we're going into with great, great opportunities there uh, with the, with several churches 
there that we'll be working with some one very uh, one very large church and and a couple very good churches all in great ministries and great outreaches so we're very excited so um as far as the prayer points for mexico uh if you look at the country uh just in general um they have many challenges politically economically uh socially um one of the big problems that uh, the pastors, our partner pastors, pointed out to us is that um, the children uh, in public schools are being raised on the agenda that is completely contrary to the gospel message. And this is this is what they learn from a very young age, from the age of five, six years old, when they start school. And so unless they're plugged into a church, unless they have Christian parents, which as Chuck mentioned, are very few, they they really um are being brought in an environment that doesn't doesn't show them the truth or or a godly way to live. And so this is a big concern among the pastors because this is the next next generation uh that will take over the country, that will lead the country. So the youth and the kids are one of the uh, primary focuses of our ministry when we work there and something that I want us to focus on praying that um, God will protect their minds and God will uh, plant people around them to lead them to the truth, expose them to the truth. Um, this is very important for the future of the country. It's a, it's a very beautiful country uh, with a great potential, uh, incredible people. It, it deserves uh, happiness, prosperity, a great future. It has everything within itself to have that as with many countries where we work. So um, just just praying for the protection of the young people and their hearts and minds. Um, another uh, uh, big problem in Mexico, of course, is, uh, you know, the drug use and, and the drug trade. And that's something that is blocking uh, Mexico from advancing uh, has to do a lot with corruption in the government. So uh, praying just for uh, the purity of the hearts of the leaders of Mexico, uh, I think is essential to just change the course of that country. Um, third interesting point is uh, last week, there are two important things that happened in Mexico. On September 16th, they celebrated their Independence Day, which is... Uh, 212 years of Mexico's independence from Spain. And three days later, there was a major earthquake. Uh, it's 7.4 magnitude. Um, the earthquake was on September 19th. And what is significant about it, that the three major earthquakes in Mexico happened on September 19th. So the big one was in 1985, which destroyed almost the entire Mexico City. Um, and then the second one was in 2017, not that long ago. And so September 19th of last week, uh, I mean, this week, it, uh, they were celebrating the anniversary um, of that last earthquake when there was a school destroyed and some school kids died. And, and on that very day, there was another earthquake. It wasn't it was pretty strong, 7.4 magnitude, but not many people died. But I mean, still, it's a tremendous tragedy. So one thing is clear, World Missions Alliance is not planning a mission trip in Mexico on September <laughs> 19th. Uh, that's for sure. But um, I, you know, I, I think God speaks to people through earthquakes and, and different signs. I'm not sure what is this a warning of, but uh, we just we just need to lift this country in prayer so that they just turn to God and uh, find him and find hope in Christ. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, that's going to be our prayer today. Uh, and of course, there are families today that are mourning the loss of their loved ones on September 19th. And so uh, we need to lift them in prayer as well. Um, so. Chuck, we'll start with prayer, and uh, if uh, you haven't joined us before, we pray kind of um, in it. We call it a prayer circle. So 
If the Lord leads you to pray out loud, feel free to do that, and then I will be the last one. Father God, we come and we lift you up, Lord, and we we lift up this country of, of Mexico right now, Lord, which I know is a place, a, an area, and a people that are on your heart, Lord, and I I pray that you bless these people, Lord, that you bring in a just government, Lord, you bring in people and open their minds that they are seeking after you in truth, Lord, in every aspect, Lord, I pray that they're seeking a true relationship with you, and Lord, as they come, Lord, I do pray a prosperity for the people there. Lord, I pray for peace. Lord, and I lift up those that are, have suffered loss during these earthquakes. Mm -hmm. Lord, and I pray for those that have uh, suffered loss in other ways also. Lord, mm -hmm. for, and I pray that you, the peace giver, will come and bring peace. And Lord, mm -hmm. I do pray for each person that's agreeing with us, Lord, that you will bring them into a, a, a blessing that only you can bring, an expansion mm -hmm. that only you can bring. And Lord, I we lift all these things and lay them at your feet. Amen. Amen. Our Lord and our God, we thank you so much because God, you have called us for nations. And Father God, we thank you as we commit Mexico into your able hands, knowing that it's your will and desire for Mexico to know Jesus. Father, we are praying that doors will open where we can go in and usher people to the kingdom of God. We pray for these doors to open and we pray God that you bring more laborers because the harvest is precious we need more laborers oh god we ask you lord to bless this country of mexico we pray that oh god even the leaders will humble and know you let you be known in this land oh lord even as we approach that day to go and those who are going even before that time there are many missionaries traveling there open doors for them for the gospel to enter in and for the gospel to be spread with power so that all things are are not godly will be dealt with and salvation will enter to this city we thank you and we bless you in jesus holy name we pray amen, amen. again father we want to thank you at this time dear lord we thank you for the people of mexico we thank you father that you can remind us everybody needs in mexico that we can bring that unto you this day thank you dear mm. lord that you remind us through your word that mm. you are now willing that any should perish but that all may come to repentance and this mm. applies also to the people of uh, mexico father we pray for the people of mexico we pray for their different situations whatsoever they are going through father we pray for the minds of the children father knowing that at a young age is the best time to learn these kids, oh God, are go and start school by five, that their minds are indoctrinated, that they are taught, but not the rightful world. Father, I pray for those minds. I pray, Father, that you will capture those minds. I pray that you will prepare the rightful world that these young minds will receive, Father, that they will go through it. I pray for the mission that war alliance is carrying their Lord, that you will capture the hearts of the people of Mexico, the youth of Mexico, the others of Mexico, Father, and everyone that needs your word so much and the true word, oh God. I pray this day, Father, from all that we've just heard from early about the different earthquakes that have occurred in that nation. Father, we know it has led, it has made your people to move, I pray for comfort for the people of Mexico. Those that have gone through these situations a long time ago, those that have been through a recent times, Father, that are still mourning, I pray for consolation, oh God, for the nation as a whole, for individuals, for families, oh God, that you will hear them. Even this, Father, when it happens, it applies to other neighbors, they are affected by that. I pray, dear Lord, for your comfort. Lord, I pray for the provision as you make the way, Father, that you will reach out to the people of Mexico to servants you have chosen. I pray, Father, for needs to be met that this trip will be possible, oh God. I pray that you will continue to guide world 
uh, mission alliance in many different ways that you want to reach your people, oh God, for their salvation, that you will fulfill your will through your servants. Take complete control. Even we thank you for this time of prayer that is held on Wednesdays, oh God, that you will remind your people, that you will remind your servants that we will be able to intercede, Father, for people that are unable to. We pray for many needs. Father, the ones that are mentioned, the ones that are not mentioned that we've not heard because of our limitations, we cannot remember everything that is around us. We pray, dear Lord, for your intervention, that your will and only perfect will will be done. We thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Father God, we come before you right now. This is Debbie Stout. I just booked my flight to Mexico, so I'm excited. Father God, we come before you right now on behalf of your precious people in the nation of Mexico and your will be done in Mexico, Lord God. We thank you that your will be done. And uh, we thank you, Father God, for the people who are going on the uh, trip, the missionaries going on the trip. We thank you for comforting the hearts of those who have been affected by the earthquake in Mexico. And we thank you, Lord God, that you said, he who calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. So we thank you that many souls are going to come into the kingdom when we go in December or even in uh, next year. We thank you, Lord God, that you comfort the hearts, wrap your arms of love around them. You said your love never fails. And we thank you, Lord God, for having a strong team that's willing to go. And we give you all the glory, honor, praise, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Unmute your mic, please. And Father God, to glorify you and thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness and your goodness. We thank you for the country of Mexico, God, that you love Mexico. You love the people of Mexico, mm -hmm. Father God, and you have a plan, a purpose, and a destiny for that country. And so, Father, we just pray even now for the team that will be heading there, Father God, from the World Mission Alliance. We just pray for divine protection and covering, Father God. We pray that your angelic harmony would encamp it round about them, God, that as they go, Father, that your spirit would be with them, God. It would go ahead of them and be behind them, Father, to protect them and keep them. We know, God, that it's, it's, there's danger there, but there's danger everywhere. And we know, God, that we can trust you, Lord, that you are with them. You will be with them because that's your promise. You said that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. You said that you'll be with us even until the end of this world. So we thank you for the, the, those who have volunteered to go and are preparing themselves right now. We pray, God, that, Lord, that you will just prepare them in prayer and fasting, that they'll, oh, God, prepare themselves, God, knowing that nothing can be done without prayer and fasting you said father god lord these things are spiritual oh god and 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 we have facing spiritual warfare and we know god that as they go that the enemy uh is 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 not happy that they're going and so father we just pray that your this team would prepare themselves and seek in your face and crying out to you for the souls of, 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 of the Mexican Lord, that, 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 that people would come to know you as their Lord and Savior, Lord God, that the yokes would be broken, the, 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 the addictions would be broken in the name of Jesus, and that lives would be changed and transformed by the power of the living God. We just thank you in advance, Father God, for what you will do in this country. We thank you in advance, God, that, Lord, that there will be more, there, there will be many testimonies, Lord. Many lives will be changed and be transformed, Lord, through the men and women that will be going on this trip. We thank you in advance, Abba Father, because we know that it, it is only you that can make it happen, Lord. It's only you that, oh, God, can do the deliverance and set the captives free. And so, Father, we just thank you in advance for the workings that will take place in this country. We thank you for the churches that they will be aligned to, Father God. We pray in the name of Jesus for the pastors as they even prepare for the teams, oh God, to come. We just thank you, Lord God, for the many things that they have planned, the programs that they have planned and the strategies that they have in place to, to reach, oh God, the, the, the lost uh, uh, souls, oh God. We pray for that even right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray for these young children, oh God, that whether they're in, the, they're in the schools or even in the Sunday school or whatever programs that, oh God, they will be using to minister to them, Father God. We pray for your anointing 
would be upon your men servants, your women servants, oh God, because we know that it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. So thank you, Abba Father. Thank you for what will be accomplished on this trip, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the many lives that will be changed and be transformed, Father. We give you praise in advance for it, Lord, and we just bless your people as they go, that Lord God, that you'll go with them every step that they take, God, that they'll know that you are with them, oh God, because that's your promise that you'll be with them. We give you praise and we give you glory and we give you honor in advance for what we'll accomplish in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen, amen, <laughs> amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, we proclaim your name over Mexico, Father. We know that you love the country, you love its people, Father, and it is your desire for every one of them to be saved, to find the truth, to find the hope in Christ, Lord. And Father, we break down the barriers, Father. We break down the strongholds in the name of Jesus, Father. We pray against the idolatry, Father, the, the gods that they worship that are not you, Father, the, mm -hmm. the angel of death and all the other mm -hmm. witchcraft that is so prevalent there. We rebuke this in the name of Jesus, Father. We ask that it becomes detestable to them, Lord Jesus. Yeah. They will recognize that this darkness is ruining their lives, Father, and mm -hmm. that they will be freed, Lord. We, we thank you for the salvation that we're going to witness as our teams go there in December and March and July, Father. We yes. thank you in advance for the harvest that you're going to give us, Lord yes. Jesus. We, we lift to you your servants in Mexico. There are so many uh, wonderful pastors and elders and servants mm -hmm. in that nation, Lord Jesus. And we speak your divine protection over them. Yeah. The enemy is not pleased with them, but the enemy mm -hmm. has no power to stop mm -hmm. them or disrupt them. So we speak your divine protection over them, Lord yeah. Jesus. We ask that you pour your strength and energy and zeal into them, your boldness, that they will not fear, not neither government authorities nor the powers and principalities of darkness, Lord Jesus. Uh, Father, we just uh, speak your protection over your people in that country, yeah. Lord Jesus. Uh, we, you promised us that whoever calls upon your name will be saved, Lord. So we speak your protection over your servants. We speak your protection over the children and the young people. Lord Jesus, yeah. we ask uh, that you ruin the schemes of the enemy to yeah. steal the generation, Father, to, uh, yeah. to uh, brainwash them in uh, things that are repulsive to you, Father. We break yeah. these chains, Lord Jesus, and we yeah. ask that your truth prevails, Father. We know that nothing can stand against you. All the idols will be destroyed before yeah. you, Father. So we just mm -hmm. proclaim this victory over Mexico. Lord, we lift to you the government of that country. Lord, and I just pray that you cleanse it, Father, that you cleanse the hearts of the officials, Lord Jesus, that they will repent of the unrighteousness and the corruption, Father, that they will seek your face, that they will seek your name, Lord Jesus, yes, and, and uh, lead this country in the way of righteousness and truth and prosperity, Father. Yes. Lord, we pray that you keep the doors open for us, Lord, that you continue to open new doors for us in that nation, yeah. Father. We're willing to go wherever you call us, Father. So we yeah. just um, ask that you uh, use us as your servants in that harvest uh, of souls in Mexico, Father, and yeah. everyone who is called for that mission, Lord Jesus. I just lift to you the hearts and minds of your people that you're speaking into, that you're stirring uh, to join the mission in Mexico, yeah. Father. I pray that you confirm your calling to those who are uh, called to go, Lord Jesus. I pray that you provide for them, Lord Jesus, in yes. every way, that you yes. clear the schedule provide the finances, uh, provide the confidence and, and the assurance, uh, Father, that it is your voice, it is your timing, it is your place, Father. As my sister said, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few, Father, so I just ask that you 
send the laborers into this harvest, Father. And Lord, we know that you have equipped us with everything we need. When you call, you qualify, you supply, you provide, and you give us victory, yes. Father. We yes. Jesus. In the precious, mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. That was a very powerful prayer. And uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, three missions uh, in the next six months going into, Me well, no, in the next 12 months going into Mexico. And I think God has a great purpose and reason for that. Um, we didn't mention uh, early in our meeting that uh, some of the unique opportunities that God opened for us there for ministry. One of them was the garbage city, not far from Mexico City, uh, just the most unique place we have ever visited. It was literally a mountain of trash, a high mountain of trash and people People walking up and down that mountain, processing garbage and living right around this mountain. Uh -huh. So we had the opportunity to share the gospel there and distribute Bibles and provide food for them. And little did we know that a month later, there will be a great fire in that area. Mm -hmm. And that place is no more. And uh, we don't know if some of the people that we witnessed Christ to did not survive. There were people that died in that fire and there is no way for us to know uh, which one of them lived which one of them didn't because they were all moved from that area it's not fit for them to live there anymore but I'm so thankful that God gave us the opportunity to share the gospel there right before that happened and uh, the other unique area was in Pachuca where we will be going in December uh, we had the privilege to plant a church, help a local church plant a church in a neighborhood that is known for drug dealers and drug use and all the other terrible things, a place where people normally don't go or visit. And yet we, we hosted an evangelistic outreach there in a medical clinic. And uh, as a result, a church was planted there. So um, God is doing his work in the darkest places in spite of yeah. any uh, challenges or circumstances. So we look forward to these upcoming missions. And if God called you to join us, we look forward to uh, this honor and privilege of uh, working in the Great Commission with you. So thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we'll see you on the next missions meet in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Have a good week, everyone. Amen. God bless. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.